Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a real quick tutorial to show you guys how I make tab labels for my tab dividers. Uh, I do them just like I do planner stickers. So we are using Silhouette Studio and I wanted to do new tab dividers and make them all match. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get some text going. Actually first, before we do that, don't let me forget to tell you not to forget to turn on your registration marks. Okay, so we've got our text over here. The first divider label that I wanna do is gonna be one for my kids, um, just like school information, regular everyday stuff like that. So we're going to do Liam and Owen. And I'm going to go over here to the font window, pick my favorite font. I'm going to go to the color fill window and just make these black. So now they're really big and we want to shrink them down. I think the little tabs on my dividers are like maybe 0.25 inches tall. Okay, so we've got our little bitty words down here. I'm actually going to shrink it just a little more. Let's do 0.245. Maybe. Okay, close enough. <clears throat> so, we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure that the text is not set to cut because we don't want that to happen. What we want to do is get an offset. So I'm going to trace the letters. So we're going to go to the trace window and do select trace area. I'm going to bring the threshold up. You know what? If when you're using words, if it's got these uh, things here, it's going to try to cut those too. So I'm just going to correct the spelling or add it to the dictionary and try again. So bump the threshold up, trace outer edge. There we go. And we're going to go offset. And we want a teeny tiny offset, like 0 0.02. But I want it a little bit bigger than that because I want all of the words to connect. So there we go, 0 0.03 for that offset. And that's going to make our sticker 0.225 tall and 0.79 wide. So that is perfect. We're just going to put the offset over top like that and check and make sure that yes that is set to cut so our divider labels will cut out just like that okay so instead of going through that whole process of getting the text and everything again I'm just gonna click and control C control V copy and paste that so now I want to do one that says today and we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to trace it. Bump up the threshold. Trace the outer edge. Click it. Get your offset. And we're going to do 0 And there we go. I feel like that one's not centered. Let's see if we can object align center, object align middle. That doesn't look middle to me, but close enough. I'm going to group these together just so that I don't have to do all that again. 
And then we are just going to go through in the same way and make the rest of our tab dividers. So I'm going to speed this part up. you get like these little things right here in the middle you can just click your eraser over here and get rid of it so that that doesn't cut out Okay, so this is a longer tab, so we're just going to shrink it down just a little to make sure that it's going to fit onto the tab divider. And there we go, guys. Like, that's all of my tab dividers. This is for two planners, uh, my A5 and my personal. But I just wanted to make a video and show you guys how I do make these so you can make them for yourself as well. If you would like to learn more about designing and doing things with Silhouette Studio, I do have my Create Your Own Planner Stickers course that is available now, and you can sign up for that if you want to learn all about using Silhouette Studio, how to make tons of different planner stickers from scratch, including a full weekly kit, and all of that good stuff. So I will have that linked for you as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.